negen. Jojo, one more time. So we're shopping for him right now. He's getting his shots, tetanus, and something else. And he likes that on his birthday. Potato 
those are almost ready. And then I'll add the sauerkraut. And um, bacon, I think. And I'll cut the sausages to go with it. And then we've got Elliot's birthday meal. Most, want pan most kids want pancakes or french fries or things like that, but no, a lid. time at school although in the morning when I brought him to school he he wasn't really in his comfort zone and I could notice from his behavior but he came home and he was very enthusiastic he had, had a great morning and then he got a haircut I really asked him if he wanted that on his birthday but the hairdresser was so busy because I wanted him to have a haircut before the formal dinner of course but it wasn't possible and she really does a great job and it's so good to have her at home, you know, with four kids to a barber shop and, well, a salon, to a salon. That's not my idea of fun. So this is really great and uh, she, the boy's hairs look great again and he, um, the reason why he didn't mind having his haircut on his birthday was that he also had to be vaccinated today. His last two vaccinations also were planned on his birthday and he was really, he liked that. He wanted that. He, he said, oh, I was going to have my shots when I was, uh, would be nine and oh, I'm nine and I'm getting them on my birthday. Just right when I'm nine, I'll get my vaccinations. And I was like, yay. <laughs> And then, when I asked him if he would mind if the uh, hairdresser would uh, come on his birthday, he said, no, then I'll look good for my vaccinations. So, I didn't argue, <laughs> but I thought it was quite funny. And uh, it went well. Uh, hubby went with him to his vaccinations when I went to judo with the other kids. And he did very well, and uh, it hurt a bit now in his, uh, one of his arms, but... That was to be expected, although we didn't tell him, I believe, up front. But other than that, the day was great. He liked his presence, and we'll be celebrating this Saturday for family and friends. Tomorrow, the kids have their uh, yearly school trip, so in the festive week, which is very festive for us because of Elliot's birthday, and the fact that we'll be celebrating this Saturday. So um, they'll have their school trip tomorrow. That means they'll be home later than usual, which gives me some space because I want to try and get everything clean and cleaned up before Saturday. So Nathaniel will be here. Uh, he likes to uh, uh, listen to and watch the Busy Beavers songs about colors and shapes and things like that. So that's, that's a good thing, but I cannot have him do that all day, of course. So, but um, yeah, I hope to get a lot done tomorrow. Friday is, I don't have a lot of time to uh, make sure the house gets clean. And Friday night, I'll probably be baking some more cupcakes for Saturday. 
But the good thing is we're celebrating in the afternoon and usually we celebrate it late afternoon, beginning of the evening, so I had to make sure everybody could eat here. And now I just have to make sure there's some snacks and that's much easier, so that's kind of a relief. Well, that being said, I'm going to finish, finish this vlog. Enough babbling. So if you like this, despite the babbling, please give it a thumbs up or and or leave a comment, um, ask me some questions. And if you have any ideas of what you want to see, if you're interested in something here in the Netherlands or interested in just things about our family, just let me know and I'll uh, see if I can show you or tell you. If you're not, not subscribed yet and you don't want to miss any of my videos, please subscribe and you'll see when I post new videos. And remember to smile, because a smile does brighten your day and the day of everyone around you. So smile, and I hope to see you again tomorrow.